Real Agriculture.com's coverage of Canada's Outdoor Farm Show 2012 is brought to you by Pride Seeds, High Stick NT, and SoybeanSchool.com. We are here with Jack Kyle, grazier specialist with OMAFRA, and uh, at the Outdoor Farm Show. We are going to talk about uh, rotational grazing, is that what we're going to talk about? Yes, we're going to talk about rotational grazing and, and how it fits into a livestock management program and how rotational grazing versus set stock grazing uh, can give you much more production for your livestock and more pro productive pastures. So what are we looking at here with the uh, with these resting cattle here we've got well we've got the cattle here resting they've been on a small patch of grass and they've filled themselves up we have a tumble wheel system right here that you can see where you just roll the tumble wheel along to give them another fresh strip of grass and the whole idea with rotational grazing is to provide fresh grass at all times so that the cattle have good palatable fresh grass, every mouthful is a big mouthful of high nutrition, that's what we're trying to achieve, not making them go back and pick through stuff time and time again. So it's like once they've grazed over, it's like eating yesterday's leftovers, not near as good as a fresh plate of food. We're going to talk about the fresh plate of food and keep it there. Every meal is a fresh meal. Now, what are some of the advantages? Are we talking better uh, pasture usage? Do you have lower weed counts? Better nutrient distribution of the manure? There, there's a whole bunch of things that happen and you've named them off quite well. We get better pasture growth because we give the grass time to regrow. So we get stronger grass plants that have more uh, drought tolerance. We get more competitive growth and so the weeds tend to get crowded out. We have higher quality feed for the livestock. We have more grass production and we see 25 to 40% more production coming off of a rotationally grazed pasture where the animals are moved every one or two days to fresh grass. When the animals are eating more high quality feed, then they grow better. And we can get much better yields if we keep them full I often compare a well-managed rotational uh, pasture is a lot like a, a managing a feed bunk in a feedlot. We keep high quality nutritious feed in front of them at all times. We're going to optimize and maximize growth and at the same time we're working with a living environment in the grass and the pasture. We want to optimize the pasture growth so that means get in, harvest it, get out, let it regrow and come back 30 or 40 or 50 days later to harvest it again. Now tell me just a bit about we've about the fencing system here like this is all temporary and and hot wire um, when we're talking about setting a system like this up how much uh, is this this more costly less costly than more typical systems like how much would it cost to set something like this up? Okay, I don't I don't have exact costs but Basically what you need in a fencing system is a good perimeter fence that's substantial enough to let you sleep at night by keeping your cattle at home or where they're supposed to be. And then the internal fence, really for cattle likely a single hot wire should be enough. An electric fence is a psychological barrier. We want the animals to know that if it, they touch it, it really hurts so we just won't bother taking that punishment. And so animals that are trained to electric fence and have lots of good quality feed in front of them aren't going to challenge the fences. So a single wire electric fence can, is, is very inexpensive to set up and then you work with that in depending on your layout where you need the fence and how you can set it up. What we have set up here is really a demonstration showing all kinds of different things so it's pretty elaborate but a simple system working with a center lane like we have here will work just about everywhere. So single wire electric inside if you've got sheep you likely need a two or a three wire. You can set up temporary paddocks using um, 
pulley reels like you see here and the, the three wires. You could do that with one wire. There's lots of variation that you can work with. It does not need to be a costly system. A little bit of thought, using equipment properly, you can set up a very effective, inexpensive system. All right, thanks so much, Jack.